Guys, we're nearly there. We are almost at our goal of 500,000 subscribers. Yep, you heard me right. By the time this video goes live, we probably achieved it. I think we did because the squad, the elite squad, is growing so fast, day by day. The squad's getting bigger and better. I always say, the best squad on YouTube. Yo, what's up guys? It's Elite Shot here, AKA Sean. Today is an amazing day. As I said, by the time you're watching this, we just hit 500,000. A half a million subscribers, guys. You know how mind blowing that is? My mind honestly cannot comprehend 500,000 people. That's more than my city of Buffalo holds. That's more than a lot of cities hold. That's so many people, and I cannot say this enough. I really can't. Thank you. Yep, I'm talking to you, the person watching this. Thank you for following me, for watching my videos, for supporting me. Every single day, I read my comments. I read hundreds, and I try to reply to as many as I can. So much support and feedback. The positivity in the comment section is unreal. You guys are the reason why I make my videos and why I do what I do. In this video, I'm bringing you something so original, so not seen before. I haven't done one of these because, dude, why would I do this? I'm showing you my 500k gaming setup. Wow, a gaming setup. Yes, I know, it's not the most special thing in the world. I did gaming setups in the past, but I haven't done one in a long time. And there are so many people who have not seen my, my battle station. This is where the magic happens. This is where the videos get created. It all goes down right here. And I'm sorry if you hear the train. We got trains going by like non-stop. There's always a train honking his horn, whatever they do. This is for everyone who has not seen my gaming setup before. It really hasn't changed that much. I mean, I pretty much have everything I need to do well and to make my videos. So guys, this is not going to be the only thing to celebrate 500k. This is just one video that is uh, in celebration of this amazing milestone. I plan to make videos where I, uh, I want to go back and watch my old videos where I react and where I first started and how much my videos changed. My voice sounds completely different. I'm a changed person. I'm a new man. I ain't a Pinocchio anymore. I'm a real boy. I also plan to do possibly a giveaway, some new apparel, some other stuff, guys. So stay tuned this entire week because I plan to bring you guys new vids that you guys cannot miss out on. So for my setup, let's go over the boring stuff and the stuff that does not mean that much or doesn't matter as much. So down here, we have a couple shoes, maybe a little more than a couple. Yeah, I like shoes. I like hats. I'll be rocking Adidas Originals. I got some Supras some Nikes, my first pair of Nikes, and some hats because you guys already know when the hat is on, the game is on. My, my eagle, my Elite Shot Eagle is wearing a hat. Yep, you see him right there. Got that headset on. He knows the game is on when that hat is on. It's what I do, man. So that's that. Over here, we have my, my beautiful TV setup laptop thing. But it's not so beautiful right now because my laptop won't stay turned on. I turn it on, it shuts back off. I turn it back on, it shuts back off. I have to get a new laptop because this one's dying on me. It's got like a 42 inch flat screen. I got my lights in the background because it just adds that feel. People say, Sean, remove those Christmas lights. Man, they ain't Christmas lights. They're red, white, and blue, and they represent my Elite Shot colors. And we have this Gamer GFX poster. This is the the graphics company that helped create my logo. They made my vision come to life. I wanted an eagle that was wearing a hat, a headset, and they did just that, and it turned out beautifully. Over here, we have the man, the guardian of the man cave. Some people call him Stitch. Some people call him Jamaican man. I don't know. I'm not sure of other names, but check them out. What's up, dude? What you up to, bro? Now you might ask me, Sean, why do you have a huge stuffed animal in your man cave? Well, long story short, my mom used to work at the Disney store and she would buy a bunch of stuffed animals, all Disney related, 
and she would surprise us with them. That was before they went out of business. So I just have this one. We have some more in the attic that I can bring out. Um, behind him is my ghillie suit because you already know when I put this thing on, we go invisible. Do you even see me, bro? No, you don't. I, I blend in. Got this New York decorative wall art because I'm so, so fashionable and I gotta deck out my room with the best stuff ever. I'm kidding. I just think it's kind of cool because it says New York. I'm from New York. Um, I'm like nine, ten hours away from New York City. I know a lot of people think if you're from New York, you must live right next to the city. That's not the case. I live in Buffalo and it's very far away from New York City. There's my snowboard. It's like a new pickle. I love snowboarding. It's one of my best and most fun hobbies of all time. I look forward to it every single year. And this previous winter was insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. We got so much snow, like eight feet in a few days. I'm not even joking. It was our biggest snowfall like ever. We broke breaking records. It was crazy. I loved it. We got this board over here with some Control Freak stickers, all these postcards from Control Freaks when they sell me stuff, a Corvette calendars because Corvettes are sweet. And check out these awesome illustrations. Check them out. Boom. Boom. These were made by Rachel. She's a longtime fan and she uh, drew these amazing illustrations. Now, if you guys want to send me stuff, fan art, or whatever you want to send me, a letter, you guys can send it to my P.O. Box, which is Elite Shot P.O. Box 172 Lakeview, New York 14085. I'll put the address in the description if you guys want to send me stuff. And if you do, I'll send you a couple Elite Shot stickers back along with an Elite Shot business card, which I'll show you. All right, so as I said, if you send me a pre-stamped and self-addressed envelope within an envelope to my P.O. Box, I'll send you back a couple Elite Shot stickers, which are sweet, and an Elite Shot business card, because why not, man? It's also very cool. Says my information there. We've been sending stickers and business cards out like crazy, so get them before they're gone. And even when they go away, I'll bring them back because I've been ordering more and more every time our supply gets low. But let's just go straight to the meat and potatoes. Let's get straight to the beautiful stuff over here that allows me to create my videos. In the description, guys, I'm going to have links to all my gaming setup stuff. So if you guys want to check it out and match my setup, you can. Or at least I'll try to include all the stuff I have here. So as I said, a lot of you guys seen this. It has not changed or updated that much since last time. Just a few tweaks here and there. Nothing too major because I kind of have everything I need to do what I have to do. But I might upgrade my mic. I might upgrade some things in the near future. We'll see. But check this out, guys. Don't get too excited. Don't make a mess in your pants because this is about to get so real. I don't know if you can handle it. This battle station is the battle station of all battle stations. Now, I'm not bragging. It's not that great. But who am I kidding? It's freaking amazing. Check it out. Boom. Voila! We got three monitors. That's right. One for gaming. Two for my computer. So I can multitask and do what I gotta do without having to keep changing pages. I can just open them up on both sides there. This is my beautiful gaming chair. This chair is made by DX Racer. It's very comfy. If you spend a lot of time gaming or sitting at a computer, I'd highly recommend getting a nice leather comfortable chair because you want to be sitting on something nice. This is, this is the, uh, what am I thinking of? This is the, the throne. It took me that long to think of the throne. This is the throne of the station. You got to sit in something nice if you're gaming. Great chair. It's red because my favorite color is red. I'm wearing a red shirt for crying out loud. I got a red keyboard, red here, right there. I love red. Now, it's my favorite color because when I was little, my mom would always dress me in red and my twin brother Patrick in blue to tell us apart. That's what she did because she would forget. But let's go back to the setup. So three monitors. These are Asus 23 inch gaming monitors with a two millisecond response time. They got a 50 million to one color aspect ratio. Um, they're great. They're nice. Now, they make better monitors, like with one millisecond response time, but these Asus ones were uh, a pretty good deal. I'll, like I said, I'll include the link in the description if you guys want to check them out. I believe they go for like $160-ish, which might sound like a lot, 
but it's not that much if you're comparing it to a TV or something. Now, I definitely and highly recommend getting a, a computer monitor if you want to do gaming. They are just so much better to play on. When I went from playing on this 40, 42 inch flat screen TV to a gaming monitor, it was a night and day difference. I was so surprised at how much crisper, how much more vivid the colors look, the, the, the picture quality, the response time. When I move the analog stick or push a button, my character does exactly just that. I know sometimes on bigger flat screen TVs, there'll be a delay where if you want to push a button or move, it'll sometimes take like a half a second from when the character does it in the game. It makes a big deal. I, I have a 23 inch. I sit so dang close. I don't I don't need that that big because I'm I'm sitting just close enough. So let's move along here. Um we might as well just talk about this bad boy right in front of us. So this is my blue Yeti microphone. This is the mic I use in all my videos besides this one because I'm using my camera mic. But it's a great mic and it actually went down in price since it's several years old now. I believe you could find them for like a hundred, maybe even cheaper. And it's great. It's a USB microphone. You don't need any special like soundboard sort of thing. It just plugs straight into the USB port in your computer and it gets the job done. On this we have a pop filter so the P's and other words that make that pop sound of the mic are like not as um strong. You won't hear that pop as loudly. We have this boom mic stand arm thing, whatever you want to call it. It's made by Rode. R-O-D-E, I'm pretty sure, and it gets the job done. I mean, it goes, it goes up, it goes down. You could spin, or not spin, but just turn that way, turn this way, it's great. I like it. Previously, I had this microphone with the stand it came with on my desk, but it was kind of taking off desk space, so I, I just figured that this would uh, be nicer and I can just pull it wherever I want. What we got here? This is my webcam. This is a Logitech C920 webcam. It records in 1080p, but the only problem is it's not 60 FPS. I believe it's like 15 FPS, which is kind of sad. That's probably the next thing I'm going to upgrade is get a new camera for my face cam. So the quality will be better. Or I just might buy like a real camera and set it up. But this is actually very reasonable and the quality is good. So I recommend it. You guys can check it out in the description. Next to that, here we have my Astro A40 headset. I've had this headset for a few years now and I love it so much. Don't mind the hair and dust on it. I got animals and their hair gets everywhere. But this is a great headset. It came with this mix amp. Well, I bought it together. They're sold separately, but you can buy them together. Control the, the volume, the chat, the, the voice, and it's an awesome headset. If you have not ever had a gaming headset, Again, you're missing out, guys. If you're using your, your TV's built-in speakers, they won't be as good. You can hear footsteps, reloads, grenades, call-outs. So much easier. But keep in mind, when you first get a gaming headset, don't expect to turn into a freaking dog with amazing ears. That was a horrible, horrible reference. Don't expect to be Superman who can hear everything. Is that better? Superman hearing? It takes time to adjust and to get used to the headset, just like any other gaming equipment, so keep that in mind. Over here we have my Elgato HD60. This is what I use to record my gameplay in 1080p, 60fps. It's a great capture card. I do have a few problems here and there, but I'm not, you know, completely sure if it's all because of the Elgato's fault or something else, but it's a great capture card. I definitely recommend it. Here is a HDMI switch. I can use this so I don't have to switch the cables for my Xbox 360 and my Xbox One, all I have to do is just push and change it from one to two. And next to that is a uh, digital audio optical switch thing, which also switches from the Xbox One to the 360 audio, so it's just more efficient and I can do that without having to go back there and change all the wires. It's a lot more efficient for sure. As I said, there will be links in the description that has all the stuff I'm uh, showing out here. This is just a notebook because I write a lot of stuff down. I have to remember things. If I don't write them down, I probably will forget. I write down my giveaway, ad, you know, the giveaway winner's addresses. I write down video ideas, apparel ideas. Whatever ideas I have, I'll write them down because I will forget. And that's a great thing to keep them in. It's a little notebook, just like Blue's Clues. Get your handy dandy notebook. Here is my kind of new-ish scuff controller. I love scuff because it has magical things on it check it out we got four panels in the back so you don't have to move your thumb to these buttons if you don't want to 
you can just keep them behind here and you could jump knife reload switch weapons without moving your thumb we also have the grips on here which makes it more co comfortable and grippy we got the hair trigger stops prevents the the trigger from going all the way down and you can use some outer guns and whatever easier on the scuff i did not get the scuff sticks I, I i kept the default because i like using control freaks these little things improve your accuracy yes they do i love them i don't take them off ever i love them so much i'm rocking the the uh, alpha on the left and the elites on the right but unfortunately the uh, elites is not available anymore they discontinued it it sucks but my next favorite is going to be the Ultra. That's another great control freak stick. If you guys want to check out Scuff Gaming Controllers, you can use discount code Elite Shot. Elite Shot to save you 5% at checkout. These Scuff controllers are not cheap. They're expensive. $200 plus. So if you're not a serious gamer who games every single day, I would not advise getting one. They're expensive, but I think they're worth it for how much I game and how much I use it. Over here, we have another special controller. The reason it's special is because it's rocking my Elite Shot bundle from Control Freaks. The bundle includes this beautiful controller decal. Check it out, guys. That's not a custom controller. It's just a decal that equips over the top of it and makes it look sweet. Very cool. We also are rocking the Elf on the left there and then the Elite again. But as I said, the Elite is discontinued. So a part of the Elite Shot bundle, it won't have the Elite. It's going to have the Ultra. I used it on my 360. Moving along here. Here are some Bose speakers. I always play music when I'm editing, when I'm, on, when I'm in my man cave. I always be blasting music because music makes this world go round. Music is amazing. Music is magical. It gets me pumped up. It chills me down, it does everything, and it just keeps me in the zone when it has to be, so I love to blast those up when I'm doing my thing. Moving along. Yes, that's a real grenade. No, it's a grenade cup that has some control freaks in it. You guys already know control freaks improve your aim, and I didn't mention already, but if you want to pick up control freaks to improve your aim, use discount code ELITES. So, ELITES for control freaks and code ELITE SHOT for scuff it saves you money and also helps me out a little bit so thank you i'm not sure what that was here is some uh control freak clean freak this is used to clean your controllers if they're grimy and dirty you just put on this cloth and you wipe your controllers down or your phone your tablet whatever you want to clean it does a great job here we have a stack of control freaks we have the new black whoa the new black ops 3 edition which are pretty dang sweet orange with the bo3 logo on there and then some control freak elites which i'm giving away and i'm waiting for the winners to respond every time i do giveaways for some reason the winners don't respond and i have to pick some more winners and they don't respond i'm picking more winners and for some reason barely anyone responds but hopefully they do and i'll keep picking winners till they do here are some other magical stuff all this here is like my gaming essentials and this is one of the top ones on the list. You would not think so, but it is. It's called Gamer Grip. And as you can see, Total Grip Solution. All you need is a little drop of this stuff. You put it in your palms, you rub them together, and your hands won't sweat for like four hours. When I game, my hands get so dang sweaty. They do. I hate sweaty palms. I can't even keep a grip on my controller. I use it before every gaming session, and it helps tremendously if you guys want to pick up gamer grip at gamergrip.com you can use discount code elite to save you 10 percent sorry i just gotta say man if i use something that you know improves my game i have to share it with you guys because that's all that's what i'm about improving your game helping you play better and these things do help you play better i skipped over my gunners here so people ask me sean what are those glasses you wear when you game these are called Gunner Optics. They have this yellowish tint on there, which might be tough, tough to pick up on the camera, but they do. And what they do is they, in simple terms, reduce eye fatigue. If you spend hours and hours staring at these computer screens, TV screens, that's not good for your eyes because these screens give off this blue type of light that your eye is not adapted to and it harms them and you'll get headaches, you could feel it, just your eyes get sore and tired and it's not good. I get headaches so often and these definitely help prevent them when I'm gaming and just working on my computer. 
I'm not sponsored by Gunners, so I don't have an affiliation code, but they do help, and um, I wear them often. Next up here, we have my keyboard. It's pretty dirty, don't mind that, but it's made by Corsair. I believe it's the Corsair K70 keyboard. It has this black, or black, it has the red LEDs in the background there. It has a metal finish. It's a nice keyboard, mechanical, sounds cool, I like it. I mean, it's not just because of sound, but it just feels nice when you're typing. Next up, we have the Corsair M60 gaming mouse, which which has this little sniper button. When you push that sniper button, it gives you instant headshots. How do you guys think I'm so accurate? I push that button, boom, 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 boom. Headshots everywhere. No, I'm lying. It doesn't do that. What it does is it slows down the speed of the mouse. I'll try and show you here. You see the mouse while I'm moving it? I'm just moving it that much. Now, if I push the button, now look at it. It's moving a lot slower, but I'm moving at the same pace. The mouse just moves slower. Now, you might think, what is the point of that, man? Well, no, it's for gaming. Say if you're playing, say if you're sniping in Counter-Strike or something, Call of Duty, whatever, you push it, it slows down the speed of the sniper or whatever weapon you're using, and it just makes it easier to stay on target. But what I use it for, and what I like to use it for, is editing. Say if I'm editing my video or working Photoshop, making a thumbnail, I push it, and I can just be more precise with the movement. I can edit easier. Believe it or not, it helps a lot and I like it. I'll provide links to all this stuff in the description for a third time. All right, what else guys, what else? I always seem to forget something and I don't wanna forget something this time around. So below here we have another 360 controller, a little Corvette, a Mustang, a lucky dollar, some lucky coins, a little pocket knife to shank people with, cause you already know I shank people. No, I don't, that's just there cause just cuz, for unboxings and stuff. My 360, my Xbox One, some games, Call of Duty, some Xbox One games. Um, this desk, now this desk might not be in the description. I got it from some other website that I can't even remember. I can't even remember the name of the desk, but I like it because it just fits all my stuff just so perfectly. That's pretty much the setup, guys. Below there is my, my printer, it's a wireless printer, and my Beast, which is Kind of tough to see. But my computer, it's a lot stronger than it looks. So let me try to remember my specs here. I have a i7 4790K processor. It's a four core processor. I'm rocking a GTX 780 Ti graphics card. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. I recently got some SSD memory, solid state drive memory which is very fast and I can open programs my computer boops up boops it boops up really fast it boots up really fast and I can just work a lot more efficiently I believe I have two terabytes of memory I also recently got a 500 gigabyte velociraptor or is it a one terabyte it might be a one terabyte velociraptor one of those which is a 10k um drive it's very fast as well i'm trying to think what else is here i showed you my shoes i showed you what's behind me yes that's the saber since i'm from buffalo i support my home team so many people are saying boo sabers suck yeah they do suck but they're my home team and i support them no matter what my snowboard stitch new york that stuff i mean check it out the best call of duty in cod history call of duty ghosts i'm kidding I just still have that there, it's crooked, I gotta get a new frame. I have these posters, I have an Advanced Warfare one and a Black Ops 3 poster that I wanna hang up in my man cave somewhere. I gotta hang it up, I just gotta get frames that are better quality than that one. Iron Man, we got some Oakley shades, I got my life proof case if that really matters to you guys. Need those uh, soft plum lips, man. <sighs> my wallet. Oh, I almost forgot, well here's my router and below that we have this router called a Net Duma. Now, I'm sure there's some of you guys who heard, I'm gonna stand up, cause I've been sitting the whole time. I mean, not like it matters, but. I use a Net Dumo router when I game. It's a special type of router that allows you to change the range at which you're connecting to. So if you play Advanced Warfare and you don't have one, it's going to connect you with lobbies from ac across the globe. Since it's skill-based matchmaking, they seem to prioritize that, even though some people say, no, they prioritize connection over that. But I don't know, man. When I don't use it, I have laggy lobbies. The hit detection's not as good. The connections aren't as good. It's, it's not as good. So with this router, it allows you to have better games. Now, I'm going to show you what this special 
uh, the dashboard thing looks like where you adjust the settings because this is also pretty cool and I really haven't announced it yet. So check this out. This is NetDuma. This is the website where you change the settings, the range, and what you connect to. Here's the map and it shows the, the, the circumference, the radius thing here, you can adjust it. I keep it at like 750 miles, I have a 30 ms ping, so my games will only connect within this range. Now check this out. That's my Elite Shot logo. This whole thing is Elite Shot branded. So I teamed up with NetDuma and we have a custom Elite Shot NetDuma dashboard interface thing. It's a mouthful but it just has a cool skin which matches my branding and I will be offering these routers sometime soon where you guys can pick them up at a discounted price and if you do get them through me, you'll get this custom Elite Shot branded NetDuma interface and it looks so cool, blue and red and white. It has all these different settings, um, it has so much stuff here, I'm not going to go into great detail talking about it, I just mainly use the host the host filtering, which connects me to people in the range I want to connect to. I think that might be about it. Now, I understand that these setups take me forever because I do a lot of talkity talking. I could talk and talk and talk. I tried describing and getting everything I could. In the description, I'm gonna say it for a fourth time. There is links to all the stuff. If you wanna check it out, just a little, little check. Just looking around. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Well, I didn't really say, but these were the first three shirts that I ever got. Um, my apparel, these were the first ones ever printed, so I just hung them up there. Um, I didn't mention my, my Teespring campaign for my Only the Elite Survive tee is ending in a couple days, guys. If you want to pick it up before it's gone, there's going to be a link in the description. There's two days, 23 hours, and 56 seconds. You guys can get it before it's gone. So far, 62 have been sold. By the time you're watching this, it might have been expired, but you can still get it if you want to order one. But guys, I plan to launch some new apparel very soon. I'll, I'll make a separate video talking about that with my Elite Shot Eagle on it. It's going to look so cool. The Eagle on the front and the Elite Shot text logo on the back like a jersey. So keep your eyes peeled for that. They're going to be sweet. I feel like I say thank you all the time, but I should. I should say thank you because you're the one who allows me to do this. Since the start of my gaming YouTube career, I've always enjoyed it. I mean, whether or not I had one sub, 100 subs, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, I've always enjoyed doing this. And I try to show my passion and my enjoyment in my gaming experiences as much as I can and share with you guys. Because I've always been a gamer, I always will be a gamer. Ever since I was five, I was glued to my TV playing video games. So it's a dream come true to make this my, my full-time job. It is. You know, some people might not think it's possible. Um, if you're first starting out, it might seem like it is impossible, but you can't have that mindset. When I first started, it was so slow. I was growing my channel at rates which wasn't even like recognizable. That was on my mind. Like I knew I could get where I got now, but I just stuck with it, even if it was slow. Like I didn't do it for the money. I didn't do it for the views. I did it because I enjoyed gaming. And as I said, I, I love sharing it with you guys and hopefully helping you become better Call of Duty gamers too. In the future, I wanna start branching out to more games. Mostly FPS games because I'm a huge um, first person shooter fanboy. I love all shooter games. But at some point in time, I wanna have a second channel dedicated to games that aren't shooters. I've been saying that for a while and the reason I haven't started already is because I'm so busy. I spend a lot of time recording. I spend even more time doing stuff behind the scenes. Editing, apparel setup, my website, EliteShot.com, my official Elite Shot app called Elite Shot HQ, the sponsorship stuff set up. There's so many things behind the scenes that you guys don't know about and that is time consuming. I spend more time doing other things than I do than gaming, which might seem unbelievable because so many people think I just get paid to play video games. If that, if that were the case, I would be gaming 24-7. I would always be gaming, but I can't because I got other stuff to do. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed this gaming setup. As I said off the start, this is not going to be the only 500k celebration video you're going to see from me. Um, I plan on making other videos, a reaction video, um, some montages, like a sniper montage, uh, what else I want to do? A QA and a where you guys can ask me questions, I'll answer them. But I don't want to make this video even longer than it already is because I spend so much time elaborating and explaining everything because I just want to ex you know, explain what I'm thinking as best as I can. I love each and every one of you. Cheers to 
a million. Well, cheers to 500K, and then our next step is a million. Insane. 500K. Because I remember being a smaller channel, looking up to, to larger channels like, wow, will I ever get there? I always knew I could. It's not a matter of, can I? Can I get there? It's a matter of, when will I get there? Thank you so much for sticking with the squad, the elite squad, the best squad on YouTube. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna keep saying thank you. I'm gonna keep saying I love you, because I do, and it, you guys mean the world to me. You really do. But you know me. It's Elite Shaw here, AKA Sean. I'm your friendly COD fanboy, and I'm signing out. Peace. Well, let's get going, guys. We are in the world of Halo. I know, I'm sure I surprised so many of you. Whoops, that's the wrong button. I'm trying to aim down my sight with the left trigger. What am I doing? Do ADS with the right thumb.